Hello, my name is Trevon, and today I'll be going over my basic timeline breakdown of a wedding day. I hope that this will help all my newly engaged and all my brides-to-be know what to expect from a photographer. Let's get started with the getting ready shots. To be honest, this is my favorite time of the day. I love capturing images of the bride and groom getting ready. I was a portrait photographer before I started in weddings, and so before the day truly gets going, I want to be sure to capture some beautiful shots of everything that it takes for the bride and groom to make this special day happen. Now usually if you've booked like an eight to 10 hour uh, wedding coverage time, that will give us enough time to get the getting ready shots. Anything shorter than that, um, things get a little tight, but I do have some workarounds in case you, you uh, have like a six hour package or something that is smaller than that. Now first, when I get to the hotel or the house, I want to get detail shots. What are detail shots? And detail shots are taking artistic photos of the small things that make the day work. So usually, when I first show up at a house or a hotel, I'll start out by taking shots of details just to also get everyone used to me bumming around, having a guy around uh, with giant lenses and a big camera and um, you know, ready to shoot. And so like it, it, taking detail shots first, like shots of the dress, shots of shoes, rings, stuff like that, will kind of help everyone kind of get used to the big scary photographer that's hanging around. I've had brides prepare these small detail things um, ahead of time so that once I get there uh, to the hotel or to the venue or to the house or whatever, that um, I don't have to go looking around for them <laughs> because I'm not scared to go in your closet. Trust me, I ain't. And so um, they'll get like a small plastic crate or like a large Ziploc bag and they'll label it like important stuff or detailed or something like that, right? And then from that, it's easy to find. So along with these, again, small details will be your dress and shoes. And so we kind of keep, just keep everything together. And that is literally all I'll ask my brides to do for their wedding day for me. Otherwise, everything else I'll pretty much take care of. Now, here is a list of all the things I like to capture in my detail shots. Now, in the event you have a shorter wedding, something that is six hours or shorter, then all the detail shots um, I will take that those images of you wearing them. All right, so on to the makeup shots. I usually capture images of you as you're finishing up your makeup. Now, my intention is never to capture images and deliver something that you might feel self-conscious about. Now, let's get to the team. All right, so here are two shots I love to get. Um, of you and your bridesmaids after your, your makeup is finished, after your hair is finished. If you have robes, this looks great when you have robes on, um, you know, when of all the girls together, maybe you could be, you know, you got your mimosas, you could be cheering. Now, another thing I usually love to capture is just individual shots of all the bridesmaids and groomsmen once everyone is all dressed and ready to go. Last but not least in the getting ready process is the bridal portraits. Now, once you're finished getting your makeup done, it's time for your close up, right? This can be as simple or as crazy as you want it to be, right? So for the best results, I would say, make sure you have your bridal robe on. I usually start planning these shots as soon as I enter the room so that we can just use our time as efficiently as possible. Everything has been in preparation until this point. Now you're getting the dress on, let's go, right? Um, so I like to capture mom or some significant individual, uh, a maid of honor, a bestie, somebody like that, helping you zip up the dress, right? Um, the second shot, I like to capture you once you're fully dressed, once you're ready, uh, just you by yourself in the dress, just looking beautiful and amazing. Now, first looks, usually you do it with dad, you do it with your bridesmaids or with your hussy, right? So first looks, no matter who, who it's with, is done pretty much the same way. You usually have your intended person who you want to see you for the first time. Their backs are turned, uh, they're standing in an isolated location, and then you, the bride, goes up, taps them on the shoulder, or 
announces, hey, I'm here, and then the person turns around, sees you, is completely blown away, blown to absolute bits, right, by how beautiful and alluring and amazing you look. First look with dad. If you are a daddy's girl, consider doing a first look with dad. This can be done at the house, at the hotel, you know, after getting dressed. Now, it only really takes about two minutes, two to three minutes. If that is nearby, it can it, it, it goes by super quick. It, uh, it's again, it just makes the day even more special. Now, if you if you have a group of girls who you absolutely love, you guys hang out together all the time, stuff like that. Consider again doing a first look with the bridesmaids. Now, it usually requires some more space in addition to getting um, your dress on without the bridesmaids around, right? Once you get your make hair and makeup done, then you, you have everybody leave the room. You go ahead and put your, your dress on and then uh, usually I go out and um, set up the bridesmaids in where I want them to be. And you walk out, you say, hey, everybody turn around and they are blown away. And it's amazing, it's fun. There's tears that go flowing all over the place. Hair and makeup is, a, is, is ruined, but it's fun anyways. <laughs> All right, now the first look with your hussy. Um, again, this is done prior to ceremony. So if you want your day from the ceremony to just flow right through to reception and cocktail, you know, if you want to enjoy your cocktail hour, um, if you want to go around and say your thank yous and stuff like that during the cocktail hour, go table to table during your cocktail hour, what have you, having the first look before the ceremony uh, would actually work out really well. That way we can get a lot of the photos done during that time, right? Now, we can accomplish capturing family group shots, wedding party group shots, and the couple's portraits after the first looks are finished, right? Uh, if you decide to have an, uh, a first look at the altar, we will move the photo session to after the ceremony. So again, during that cocktail hour. All right, so now it's on to the ceremony. Now this part is fairly straightforward. Uh, this is usually planned between you and the officiant. At this point, I enter photojournalistic ninja mode. I hide in the shadows and, I, and I'm capturing everything that happens. So all those tears, every time mom looks at you and starts to ball up and starts to cry, guess what, I'm gonna capture that. I'm gonna see that. Uh, that's 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 my ninja ability right there after the ceremony and now it's time for family and group shots now if again you did not have a first look and you had the first look at the altar um, then I would attempt to capture the group shots here along with the couple's portraits now ideally I love to have an hour but I realize that sometimes when things when people run late, hairdressers running late, makeup artists running late, everything just gets squished. And unfortunately, cocktail hour is the first thing to get cut. And that means sometimes I'll have to slice it down to 10, 15 minutes. Um, but we can get this uh, if, you know, if we have everything organized now. Most venues bring snacks and food uh, you know, from the cocktail hour so you don't pass out during this time. Um, definitely inquire about uh, with your venue to see if that's something that they do um, because this can really help to kind of make this an easy process uh, to go through. Now, it's on to the reception. Now, let the celebration of your union begin, right? Walk in, introductions, first dance, father-daughter dance, mother-son dance, time out before the sun sets. Let's go outside and get some sunset shots. Trust me, it is worth the effort. While everyone is having dinner, let's sneak out for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let's capture some photos at sunset. We can even go out in the dead of night. If you have, if, if your venue is beautiful, if it has beautiful columns or whatever, if it has a beautiful garden, we can go out in the dead of night and capture some beautifully romantic images time in so you got cake cutting you got guard to toss you got bouquet toss now bouquet tosses are not that <laughs> are not that popular these days because you have these beautiful live bouquets and no bride wants to throw away their beautiful flowers but then after all that it's time to dance so you know i want to dance with somebody okay as long as you get that playing you know i'm gonna be on the dance floor dancing with you 
and it's time to get some beautiful shots again photojournalistic mode this is where you're just enjoying the rest of your day you don't have to worry about me dragging you off somewhere to go take more photos especially if your man ain't really down for taking photos like that but you know if you want him to watch this video so he can kind of prepare himself and <laughs> You know, this is what you're gonna ex you can expect on our wedding day. But again, all this information is available on my website. Uh, the link will be in the description to the specific blog that you can um, that you can get this. And also, again, if you book with me, you'll most likely be getting this video uh, in an email to just kind of help you prepare a few weeks before our consultation. All right, thanks again for joining me. Have a great day. Peace. God bless.